Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day for me. Good day, or good day. I hope it's a good day for me. Blah, blah, blah. The actually smack me. Y'all know the rest of the story. Let's get into it. I'm going to do a list video because you guys like list videos and I like doing them. So why not, right? Um, And I got thinking. When I wore that uh, Hugo Boss last week, week before, but got me thinking about. Uh, Fragrances that are overshadowed by other fragrances in the line. You know what I mean? Um, and, uh, like, I think, well, that's kind of, kind of a shame, right? Because these five, I got six here, but I'm doing a five, and I'll give you an honorable mention, and I'll tell you why. I'll do that first. Because um, these six are really nice. I think even better... Not always better, but, you know, almost as good or just as good as the other ones in the line, right? So, let's do it, yeah? So, these are just kind of overshadowed. Uh, fragrance is overshadowed by another fragrance in the same, in the same line, you know what I mean? In the same, you know, a lot of these are flankers, so that should tell you something. Um, first off, though, is the honorable mention, and that's the original YSL Y EDT, not the reformulated one from a couple years ago, the very first one they released. Uh, this, well, it got a lot of love, obviously, because the Y line took off. It doesn't get the respect I think it really deserves. It's the first uh, Y, it, it, it's my favorite Y, still is. It's got that. Sweet, nice, sweet, modern, masculine kind of vibe off the top. I'm not going to lie. It's not my favorite part about it, but it's not as sweet as a lot of them. Uh, and where this really shines is in the, you know, starting in the mid, going into the base that uh, really keeps the sweetness and dials itself back, of course. But that nice, clean, white, floral-like musk with some, basically some clean woods. It, it, it's so nice. And all the ones that get talked now are like Le Parfum, Parfum, and, and the new elixirs getting talked, but usually for, mostly for the wrong reason. But this one just seems to always get, people talk about why they never talk about the original EDT. It's great performer, smells great, uh, works well, compliment getter, and it's just a nice fragrance. And I don't get why it doesn't get more, more love. All right, now let's get on to the official five. <laughs> and we're going to start, and this is just my opinion, right, guys? This isn't a, an end-all, be-all. These are just five that I think don't get enough recognition in their own line of fragrance, their own family of fragrance, right? And the first one I'm going to go with is... Uh, uh, Polo Cologne Intense. It's got this minty green, but without being sweet. It's a, it's a tiny bit of sweetness. This minty green woodiness to it. Uh, sharp, but dry at the same time. It is an absolute stunner. For if you like green fragrances. And it does have just a hint, just a hint of the original Polo in there. Uh, you know, you're not going to spray the two and think they're super close, but... If you've smelled polo as much as I have over the decades, uh, you'll smell this and you'll be like, it's there, but just, just a little bit. It's not, you know, it is there, but it, this is its own fragrance. <clears throat> and this kind of gets overshadowed by the original polo, believe it or not, still everybody, you know, and, and I get that though, because it's a classic. Everybody wants to ha have it or try it. And even if they don't like it, you got to have it in your collection. It's one of them fragrances, right? But people just don't tend to talk about this a lot, and they really should. This is probably my personally favorite polo pretty much of all time. It's it's masculine, it's modern, but without being sweet. And it's got, like I said, a nice green minty vibe right off the top. There's vetifer in there. It's just gorgeous. Uh, performance might be a little rough for some people, if I remember right, about five or six hours. But, I mean, 
it's not that expensive, especially a discount. It's not even retail, it's not that expensive, but a discount is just not really either. So, yeah, nice, fresh, green, minty kind of scent without being sweet. Woody, gorgeous, gorgeous. Give it a try. <laughs> Next is going to be Dolce and Gabbana Intenso. Uh, just what a nice scent. Uh, again, very masculine in a bit of a throwback way. Um, you know, you've got tobacco and herbs and whatnot, and there's some woods. Uh, the big difference between this and Dolce Gabbana to my nose, at least the reformulated one, is this is quite a bit stronger. Uh, not that this is a super powerhouse scent. It's just, it's a good performer, average performer, right? Um, but as everybody says, I've said it, most people have said it, uh, this smells more like the original Dolce Gabbana when I was a kid kid uh, than the new reformulated stuff does. Not that the new reformulated stuff's bad at all. I've got a bottle of it. It's perfectly fine. It's just this has got a little more legs to it. And it does have a bit of a, a slightly more grass, not grass, but it's, it's got a hay note in it. And it's kind of hard for me to describe, but it's got a bit of that vibe to it, right? That kind of hay vibe. And it's just really nice. That dry leaf floral tobacco and, and grass. And it's just some lavender. It's just really nice. If you like the original Dolce Gabbana and you don't, and you want to get another bottle, don't get the reformulation. You can still get this, again, relatively cheap. And you'll be more than happy with it, I think. <laughs> um, I'd say get both, though. Get the reformulated bottle and get that. You can use... The reformulated bottle in the summer when it's really hot. You can use this in like the fall and spring and stuff when it's kind of chilly out. So get them both. Why not? Uh, next is going to be Gentleman Givenchy Boise. Um, you know, this gets overlooked by pretty much every other gentleman and gentleman only. Although they're two separate things. So we'll just use gentleman uh, fragrance. Uh, and that's unfortunate because this one is... It's, it's really nice. It's got that iris, you know, but it's not a very heavy iris. It's not a sticky, sweet iris. It's more of the powdery floral, still makeup-y kind of iris, but being that sticky, sweet type deal, like that's usually because they include vanilla with it, right? It's not really any vanilla sweetness or anything to choose from. Again, more of a dry, woody fragrance. I mean, it's basically iris and woods, honestly, and it's just super nice. Reminds me more of something like uh, Dior Homme O, oh, little, little more that that kind of iris, the fresher kind of powdery, still make it be, but fresher iris, but on a nice base of uh, indiscernible woods, icy super basically. Uh, yeah, it's just super nice. Uh, people like it. Works pretty good. I mean, why not, right? Um, next is going to be. Uh, Loam, Eau de Parfum. Now, this one gets overshadowed by uh, the original Loam still, which is, phew, again, I can understand why, because that fragrance, even to this day, is just killer. It is it is a great fragrance. I mean, if you've never tried Loam or you don't own Loam, what are you waiting for? Go try it. It's, it's a... Just a, a, a fresh, vibrating, uh, uplifting kind of fragrance, right? And uh, this has that in there, that DNA, but it gives you a bit more of a ambery, boozy kind of vibe to it. Uh, very nice. Kind of like with the Dolce Gabbana. I'd buy Loam for the summer, real hot days, and I'd buy this for like this. The spring and fall, get them both. Why not again if you can afford it? Uh, or if you already have loam, give this a try. Uh, I think it's it's overshadowed by, and you can also say it's overshadowed by Lana Weed Loam. And yes, Lana Weed Loam, when it first came out, was a flanker of loam, but it has become its own brand, right? Its own fragrance. It's not a flanker of loam anymore. I mean, in name only, you know? So, uh, so. Yes, this has been this is overshadowed by the original loam, which, like I said, I get 
The original Gnome is great. But this isn't too far behind, guys. And it performs really well, too. Um, I, th I think you'd really like this one if you gave it a shot. I really do. And last but not least was that Hugo Boss. Not the Hugo Boss, the original I wore, but the, the uh, Eau de Parfum. This one takes the Hugo Boss Eau de Toilette, the original DNA, and if you find that a little too, maybe a little too, little too old school for you, which it isn't, but if you do, that's fine. This kind of modernizes that DNA, gives it a bit of that bubblegummy sweetness off the top. Not a whole lot. You're not going to spray this and think, oh my God, another Invictus. Uh, you will for a few minutes because it's got that, but I mean, it really only a couple minutes. And then those spices start coming out, the cinnamon, uh, you get some of the woods. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I mean, every time I smell it. Yeah. It's got a bit of that sweetness, but it's not. It's just a bit. Like I said, it modernizes that DNA uh, performance. Not the greatest, you know, six, seven hours, but it's it's really nice. And this one gets overshadowed by pretty much all the boss line and i don't know why uh this one basically is i found what a you know kind of what a, an eau de parfum should do take the original and tweak it a bit for for modern taste and make it a little stronger right and this did that and i don't know how you can like the original and not like this one though that's what i'm getting at so yes try this if you haven't tried this boss eau de parfum very nice fragrance mm, yeah Oh my God, that's so nice. Every time I spray it, I fall in love with it more and more. Um, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's that's five with an honorable mention. And like I said, the I don't know if I, I can't remember if I said the honorable mention, why it was an honorable mention. Uh, so I'll reiterate. I don't know if you can get this one anymore. Um, you can get Y-E-D-T. And well, very similar. This is just a little bit better. The original from when they when it first came out. I don't know if it's available anymore. I haven't seen it in stores in a while, but just because I haven't seen it here, we're relatively small to medium, big, small, small, medium kind of city, right? So you might be able to get it in places like New York, LA, Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal, you know, places like that. Whereas here, they're not gonna, they're not gonna do that. So <laughs> that's why it was an honorable mention. So. Yeah, that's it, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Give me a, a, a fragrance of two or three or four, whatever, that you think is overshadowed by something in the same line, you know, in the same fragrance, like family, just because I'm curious. I mean, I could probably do another 30, tell you the truth. But these were these were five that really, really stood out for me that I think especially should be more recognized than they are. Uh, if I had to put them in order, which ones to try? Because you guys do like when you put some stuff in order, too, I've noticed. Um, my first is going to be this. Try this if, if if you're looking for something that's a little different than today's fragrances, uh, but still very wearable and, you know, compliment getting and all that stuff. So that would be number one. Number two is going to be the Hugo Boss. That's just ridiculously good. Uh, number three will actually be La Nuit de Lom, or La Nuit, Lom Eau de Parfum. Like I said, it just basically darkens up Lom by a little bit. It gives it a little bit of a more woody, boozy, ambery kind of vibe. Uh, next is going to be Gentleman uh, Boise. I think probably out of all these, this is the most underrated out of these five. Uh, I think people were expecting more too, you know, because they just get back with the Eau de Parfum, basically, uh, and which was really good. That sweet, boozy-like vanilla and, and iris combo is really good. So again, I get why this is overlooked, but it shouldn't be. And the last one would probably be the the Intenso. Well, I really, really like it. Um, again, the regular one's just fine. It's just a little bit better than that, but it doesn't get the love it deserves so yeah guys that would be that would be them in order uh again going from one to five one two three four five Une, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. 
So, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you had a good day. Peace, love, be good to each other, and be good to yourselves.